Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve this first question of exercise 1.5 and in this question you have to classify the following numbers as rational or irrational. So you have to find whether this expression is rational or irrational same as with this. Now before solving this you have to know certain things about rational or irrational number. I hope you already know what are rational numbers and what are irrational numbers. First of all, the first definition says rational numbers are basically those numbers which can be written as in the form of p upon q where p and q are integers and q must not be equal to 0. So these are known as the rational numbers. So except this, all are irrational. There is another Definition for rational numbers, rational numbers are basically fractions and fractions are decimals. So there is another definition of rational numbers with respect to decimals that decimals are of three types. The first is terminating decimal that is known as rational number. The second is non-terminating but repeating numbers that, that is also called rational numbers. But if the number is non-terminating, non-repeating or you can say non-recurring, that number is known as irrational numbers. This is already I have discussed in the previous videos. So I hope you know how what is rational or irrational numbers. But there are certain properties between rational and irrational numbers. That is, the first is, if you, uh, if you subtract or add a rational number with an irrational number, the result will be an irrational number. Okay, this is the first. Same case with when you uh, yeah now let's solve these question. Now this is the first case you have to find whether this is rational or irrational. In this case, two is a rational number because two can be written as two upon one and that is in the form of p upon q and q is not equal to 0 so obviously 2 is a rational number and we know that root 5 is an irrational number because when we find the value of root 5 it is non-terminating and non-recurring so the root of the value of root 5 is non-terminating and non-recurring so that is that is why root 5 is irrational number so we know that when we subtract rational with the rational, the answer is irrational. So in this case, this complete expression must be irrational. This is the first case. Now, if I solve this second part, first of all, I have to open this bracket. This is 3 plus root 23 and this is minus root 23. So these two values can be cancelled, plus minus can be cancelled and the result is 3. Now again, 3 is a rational number. Because 3 can be written as 3 upon 1, that is in the form of p upon q and q is not equal to 0. So obviously this number, this complete expression will be rational. Now, if you want to solve this, root 7 and root 7 can be cancelled and the result will be 2 upon 7. Again. This number can be written as in the form of p upon q where q is not equal to 0. So clearly by first definition <coughs> this expression is rational number. Now <coughs> let's solve this. We know that 1 is a rational number but root 2 is an irrational number because when you are uh, when you will find the value of root 2, it will come out to be non-terminating and non-repeating. So in this case, 1 is irrational, uh, sorry, 1 is rational and root 2 is irrational number. And there is another property of rational and irrational number. Whenever a rational number is divided by irrational number, the result is irrational number. So obviously this complete figure uh, this complete expression will be irrational now if you have to find the value of 2 multiplied by root uh, 2 multiplied by pi here where 2 is an irrational number 
and pi is an irrational number and there is another property when rational number is multiplied by irrational number the result is irrational now these these are the first this was the first property when you are subtracting or adding rational with an irrational the result is irrational when you are dividing rational with an irrational the answer is irrational and when you are multiplying rational with an irrational again the answer is irrational so this is how you can solve this first question i hope you have understood how to solve this if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you